Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. Today, I'm giving you my two-year review of Build Blocks. Before I get going, this is more specific to Build Box 2 than Build Box 3. Build Box 3 launched in beta about a year and a half ago and is still in beta. There's a lot of bugs need to be fixed. Also, you need to learn JavaScript. And actually, hold on, let me. JavaScript. You'll most likely need to learn JavaScript for BuildBox 3. There's a lot of things that you will probably be able to do in BuildBox 3 without learning JavaScript, but I suspect that will be minimum a year or two away. So on my channel, I play and review all kinds of mobile games with the focus on BuildBox games. I've played more BuildBox games than anybody. The amount of BuildBox 2 games I've played is hundreds. The amount of BuildBox 3 games is 12. Half of them, I believe, were for testing purposes. This to me is a very good example of where BuildBox Buildbox wants to be is the premier mobile game engine that uses no code, is very simple. But where they are now, present day, today, is Buildbox 3 is still in beta. There's less than a dozen games on the App Store built by Buildbox 3. Think that will change in the future. But when I think in the future, I think one to two years in the future. I know when Buildbox 2 first came out, it took a while for all the bugs to go away and there's still bugs, there's just less of them. I've seen videos from some of the old versions of Buildbox to where it is now and the UI is just super compelling super easy to use as someone who currently uses BuildBox 2. Right now, I'm going to try to make a game in five to 10 days and document the process. So check out my channel as I've been using BuildBox for two years while I'm still learning, still trying to make everything smooth and polished. I'm pretty confident that right now I can build a game. It won't be the best game ever, but it'll be minimalistic and hyper casual things that I think are fun. I think the best way to get an idea of the game engine is to see the games that have been made. I have playlists that includes both BuildBox 2 and BuildBox 3 games. This review is mainly for BuildBox 2. So I just wanna be clear, I don't make money off of games. I think there's a misconception that you can make a simple game and then make a lot of money off of it. And to be fair, I have met people who have made a game in BuildBox with 2D and it's become number one on the App Store. And this is amazing, but no one talks about the fact that this dude was talking to publishers for seven months. Seven months, like, hey, check out my game. And the publisher's like, nah, I'm good. The conversation, the tenacity and stamina to go to publishers and convince them to publish your game is energy that I don't have. I just wanna make games, make cool shit. First thing I wanna talk about in this two year review, I just went to the Buildbox website and was looking at the pricing plan. Do not spend a hundred dollars a month in learning how to make games you're going to need patience you're going to need patience to to learn build box patience to deal with the bugs but most importantly patience to wait for build box to have some kind of special sale that work better than others typical build box sale you're going to want to wait for these sales they happen every three to six months Buildbox just had a spring sale where for $1.99, you could have gotten Buildbox 2 and 3 for a one year time. Again, Buildbox isn't free. There's a lot of free options and I'll list those below. Unity being one of the, the most popular, but again, Unity, you need to know how to code in C sharp. So I don't know how to code. I do plan to learn JavaScript. So yeah, I pay attention. Is if you are interested in Buildbox, be patient. Follow them on Twitter, wait for an opportunity that makes sense financially. The annual subscriptions are the best. I have one. It's my latest game. It was a lot of fun to make. Check it out. It's available now for pre-order and will come out 
sometime in June. Coming up and thinking how to create a level and where the character is going to go through and try to make it a puzzle was a lot of fun. And it was all done with Boltbox 2 that has no code. Now, when you do upload it to the App Store, you do sometimes have to do a little bit of code, but it's all stuff that you can find online and it's very simple. Also trying to document my process when I make games. The game that I have on pre-order now, I created a daily devlog of creating levels and going through the process of making a game. I'm still learning, I'm still figuring it out. And I think the process of making a game is maybe like a long commitment of just always learning, always figuring it out, keep moving forward. I think BuildBox is great. There's always new software coming out. It's important to keep an eye on all of them. I'm always looking at other engines and seeing how plausible they are. But for me, I like BuildBox. I think while BuildBox 2D does have bugs, everything has bugs. So working through a bug and you know trying to find a way around it trying to find a different solution to create the game that you want to create it takes a lot of imagination and creativity. So I look at bugs as opportunities to try to find a different way to do what you want to do. I want to finish this review by going into BuildBox 2, showing you the core basics. Here you have these presets. It's like an outline for a foundation to a game you've probably played before on your phone. Now when starting out BuildBox, devs to kind of clone or recreate a game because when it's your first time making a game you essentially have no idea what you're doing so you almost clone or copy an existing game that's already out there now that's not the best way to go i think this is okay if it's your first game or two once you get familiar with buildbox and the game mechanics and how to create things you can take your foundational knowledge and create some Something brand new that's never been created and that's where imagination and creativity is required. Buildbox 2 has a lot of limits but within those limits you can make a game that's never been made before or has different mechanics. Is it going to be easy to figure out? No because you haven't figured it out yet. An example is the game that I'm releasing. I took two popular core game mechanics and merged them together to make like a brand new game. Buildbox is very well known to have a lot of clones of games. I think this is bad and good. It's good because it's a start, it's a beginning. From there you can make more and develop more because everyone's gotta start somewhere. And that being said, once you start somewhere, you build up your knowledge on like a certain type of gameplay mechanic and then you make another game and you work on another game mechanic. My goal isn't to make one amazing game, my goal is to make 50 games and each game gets better each time. And the faster I can do that, the more I'll learn along the way. So you gotta ask yourself, what is your goal? And what are some steps that you can take to get there? And for me, BuildBox 2 works really well. I do plan to learn some JavaScript so that I can work on BuildBox 3 once it's out of beta. So I hope you found this review informative. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, I will be putting out daily devlogs of my process of making games in the future along with just playing and reviewing both BuildBox 2 and 3 games and the most popular games on the App Store. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you later.